Borneo and its rainforest is known internationally as being some of the most diverse areas of land on the planet. The Pitas district in the north of Sabah is home to the Coop 8 conservation area, an area of land particularly dense in biodiversity. The area is in the heart of 60,000 hectares managed under a forest management agreement by the Asian Forestry Company, or AFC. AFC is establishing a sustainable planted forest model, incorporating best practices of conservation, research and community development. As part of the company's efforts, AFC aims to recognize areas of high conservation value rainforest, or HCVF, and implement a plan to protect, manage and monitor such areas. On the edge of Coop 8 is a nursery that employs 25 Sabahans to grow the seedlings to establish sustainable planted forest. Although the Coop 8 conservation area was logged between 30 and 40 years ago, there are many types of flora and fauna that can be found here, and some of them are categorized in the IUCN Red List. A biodiversity study is necessary to prove this to mark out a HCVF area. Three teams of 12 from Raleigh International will work with biologist Phyllis Erison to conduct a survey collecting data using mist nets, bait traps, camera traps and amphibian capture. Mist nets are used to capture birds and bats. They are erected in small open areas in the jungle along the river. Made from a thin net, the animals will fly into the nets and get caught. These are checked twice a day and the animals are carefully extracted, identified, and data like wingspan and sex are collected. After this, the animal is released unharmed. Mist nets are the safest and most effective way to capture winged animals. Bait traps are used for collection of small mammals like rats, squirrels, and slow lorises. They are set 25 meters apart of a hill, and ideally on visible animal tracks. Each of these points are located using GPS, so the data is accurate to location and elevation. They are baited with fresh banana and checked once per day. The collection of amphibians is a lot simpler. After dark, a team of seven walk up the river using regular flashlights. They spot the frogs by their eyes glinting in the light. Then it's just a case for catching them with your hands. For certain poisonous species, gloves are necessary. In just one night, seven different species were found in under an hour. They are collected and taken back to base to be studied before they are released. The Coop Ape Conservation Area is particularly important, as it is situated between the village of Kampong Song Song Suyab and privately owned palm oil plantations. AFC supports 54 villages inside the 60,000 hectares with infrastructure projects like gravity water feeds and kindergartens, all of which Rally International is a part of. The Coupate Conservation Area is like much of Borneo, densely biodiverse, culturally important and in danger of disappearing. Projects like these are vital to the success of Borneo.